Hello, and it's been a while since there's been a video with any gameplay in it. I'm still pretty ill, uh, in quite a bit of pain, and stuck to basically lying around and listening to books and watching DVDs at the moment. But I have started adapting a bit better. I've got some new legs for my desk, so I can now use my PC standing up, which makes things a bit easier. Still can't use it for very long, but I can use it at least more comfortably. So, got some gameplay here from the community map, and I've gone back to using a very old loadout indeed. This is the loadout that I used to use pretty much at the start of the game. I'm using the Ace 52 CQB, I've got the P226 with a silencer on it, I'm using the MBT Law, and I've got a repair torch. And I've gone back to using this loadout to see why I stopped using it. And the answer is really that, okay, the MBT law is easy to use, but the Ace 52 CQB really isn't. The law I actually find easier to use in dumb mode than something like an RPG, because it does have the kind of sights on it rather than trying to crosshair it like you have to do with the RPG. The Ace 52 suffers from its recoil. It's got a lot of vertical recoil and you expect that because it's doing 34 damage. The problem is it's got quite a lot of balanced side to side recoil. It's 0.3 left, 0.3 right. And it wasn't until I went through the stats that I remembered why I stopped using the Ace 52 CQB. Because it got nerfed. Its stats weren't that bad when I used to use it. I think it had a 0.4 vertical recoil and a 0.24 left and right. So it got nerfed quite heavily and with its slow bullet speed and its balanced high side to side recoil it just isn't any good at range and that's what you want from the high damaging guns. The whole point of having a 34 damage carbine would be that it can shoot and project damage further out. This one can't. What you want the Ace 52 to be is something like a scar that projects out damage a bit further than a normal carbine would. But what you get is something that does 34 damage at close range. So it turns into more of a close range gun than the medium range gun that you want it to be. And there are just better close range guns. And it's something you just have to put up with in Battlefield. Every now and again a gun that you really like is going to get nerfed. Because maybe the ace 52 was a bit too good in its original version i don't like the side to side recoil i can live with the vertical recoil but side to side recoil just kills a gun for me and when you compensate for that side to side recoil that reduces the gun's accuracy so even though the recoil is lower its accuracy is lower and so it's still no good at range so why am i using the mbt law it's simply because the MBT law is the simplest missile launcher to use in the game. You can do what I'm doing against this helicopter, which is basically just dumb fire it. You aim it and the missile goes straight. Or if you're aiming at things like tanks and LAVs, then it will do its top-down attack. So you fire it towards the tank, and then when the missile spots the tank, it will come up and drop down on it. For simplicity and versatility, there's nothing to beat it. Unless, of course, it's a shotgun at quite long range. They're just too gross now. The situation I think the law is ideal for is if you are a tank driver. If you're playing an engineer, driving a tank, then the MBT law is probably the best missile for when you have to jump out of your tank, swap to your missile launcher, and fire off a quick shot. It's not doing as much damage, but the MBT law will do some of the work for you, so you hit more often. That's the important thing in a tank duel. If you can leap out, get that missile launcher shot, you can often save yourself and save your tank. For a pistol, I'm using the P226. And the reason for that is it was the first pistol that I unlocked the silencer for. And I always used to run a silenced pistol so that I could get stealthy kills if needed to. I don't get many pistol kills, so I just kept on using the starting pistol and got all the gadgets for it. Eventually I shifted on to the MP443, and then now I tend to just use the 93R on every loadout. Uh, it's a pistol that does everything I need it to. 
So that's my loadout. Like I say, this was one of the first stable loadouts that I actually used. Instead of going through the gun race and trying to unlock all the guns, which you do at the start of a game, this is the one that I picked and stuck to for quite a long time. Pretty much until the Ace 52 got its nerfs and I'd unlock more things for more pistols. So this isn't a loadout that I would probably go back to using a lot, but it was quite fun to try it out again after all this time. The MBT Law I may go back and start using again, and that's just because of the nerfs to the SRAW. I've used the SRAW pretty constantly, I was pretty good with it, but I might have to go back to using the Law now that the SRAW just isn't the same and just doesn't have the ability to turn and be as guidable as it used to. The other reason for this gameplay video was to show you some footage of the community map project now it's green so you've got a much better idea of what the jungle is going to look like. It's still not fully fleshed out but as you can see there's bamboo and vines starting to be dropped in and there's a few different types of trees knocking around. And this map is throwing up a few different types of gameplay. You're seeing a lot more IRNV scopes being used because it makes people stand out in all the foliage. Also seeing a lot more shotguns being used on this map. Now this might be just because shotguns are a bit overpowered at the moment. The range in which you can get kills with a pump action shotgun is just too long in my opinion. But at the moment people are coming up with new ways of playing it. If you're playing on a tank and you've got thermal on then you have a clear advantage at seeing the bad guys. If you do that with your guns, because the limited range on this map, because of all the bushes and trees, it isn't really a big disadvantage. Playing this map with a night vision scope does kind of bring out the predator in you, because you've got that weird night vision effect in a jungle. Here's the third helicopter that I'm going to hit with my law, and I don't know why I find it so much easier to hit things in dumbfire mode with the law than I do with an RPG. I don't know if it's the trajectory or the speed of the missile, but something makes the law far easier to use than an RPG for me. So I think it might be sticking with the law and just taking the damage drop. Here you can see just how out of practice I am with the Ace 52. It takes me almost an entire magazine to kill that guy. In fact, it does take me an entire magazine. There's also a tank out there. This is why I like the law, because you can just fire it and it'll do its own thing and hit. Although the tank is pretty good at hitting me too. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I was asked in the Q&As to do more gameplay videos. As you can see, my gameplay isn't great. I think I went 12 and 7 in this round. So they're not going to be the most entertaining videos in the world. And I won't be doing live comms on them because I'm just bad at it. But I will do some more and put them up. Thanks for watching.